Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to finally show you guys my new bike. It's not even new anymore. I got it last November, then the last year as an early birthday present to myself. So it's not really a new bike, but I have not yet made a proper video on this channel. Just showing you guys my new bike. Next off, I wanna thank everyone who left me a bunch of comments on recommendations for bikes and things like that, because I know and I guess it was like the end of last year, has to be. I was asking you guys if you guys had recommendations on what type of bike I should get in the full suspension world. So thank you guys so much for leaving me a bunch of comments and suggestions on those. It really helped a lot in making my decision. So thank you guys so much for that. So just a little bit of background on my new bike, why I went with the bike that I did. So I was really in the market for a full suspension. I have been riding hardtails now and I just really wanted to make the switch. A hardtail really just was not cutting it with the type of trail riding I was doing at all. It was really bad. So I felt like I just needed to really make that transition into a full suspension. I felt like I was always getting jarred to death on the trails that I was doing. So I was like, it is time, Morgan. And that's also been a bike that I've been wanting to, you know, get from the get go. But, you know, as everyone knows, full suspensions are pricey. The next thing that I was looking for also was a bike that was a two by nine. Previously, I mean, I've had, you know, different gear ratios and everything like that prior but my last bike that I had was a 1x8 which was fun at the time but it just was really not cutting it like I said again it had to do with the types of trails that I was riding and it was just miserable as I'm sure you guys can imagine on climbing it was absolutely awful and I love climbing that's just you know biking is my gym pretty much not pretty much it is so I really really wanted to get a bike that I felt like I could really climb anything and that was kind of prohibiting me from climbing a lot of things because it was just so difficult as I'm sure you guys know and it had its pros and cons you know it helped strengthen my legs but overall it just was not cutting it. Well, with all that said guys I want to show you the bike that I went with. I ended up going with a giant stance too and I wasn't even really planning on getting a bike that quickly last year I was going to wait a while but this one is the 2017 model and my local bike shop was having a closeout price on it so I could get $200 off this bike. This bike is originally $1,500 and so that's why I just decided to go ahead and buy the bike. The 2018 model, there was a lot of things on the 2018 model that I didn't want that I liked on the 2017 model and some of those just kind of off the bat, the two main things that kind of pushed me on the 2017 model. The 2018 has Sun Tour forks, which I have nothing against Sun Tour forks, but I've had those on all my bikes and I really have just been wanting some Rock Shocks on my next bike. So that's why I ended up going with the 2017. Also the 2018 had a dropper post on it. And that was honestly something I know everyone loves their dropper post and and that's honestly something that I don't need right this second. So I decided to forego that and this whole bike i got the reason why i got this bike is because i can do upgrades you know as i go and things like that and so a dropper post is definitely one of those things that i'll do in the future but it's not something that i need right this second it would be nice yes but not something that i feel the need to go out and throw on my bike right this second but we will get there so looking at the bike i have a two by nine which is great this thing can climb like a dream i'm so so happy with finally having that it has made life a whole lot easier now i'm just like scaling up mountains all day and it's just so much fun i just cannot say enough great things about having a two by nine especially going as you can only imagine going from a one by eight it is just insane like i said my shocks are both rock shocks so up at the front i have 120 mil and then in the rear i also have 120 mil Front, we have hydraulic brakes which was also something that I didn't have on my previous bike so it's really great having that with just more brake sensitivity. I have really really been loving having the lockout up at the front for the shock. That's something I've never had on a bike. Most people probably have this unless you have a coil shock and that's what I had on my last bike so I didn't have that and it's such a helpful feature just to quickly lock out your front fork if you're climbing so you're not exerting more energy than needed when you're climbing uphill. I do wish I had an option to lock out my rear because I feel like that one when I'm climbing is actually the one that's working out the most so unfortunately I can't lock that out but not a huge deal. I'll also put the rest of the specs right here for you guys to take a look at it so it's not like I'm reading off a teleprompter right here but these are all the full specs that I have on my bike currently which like I said I'll probably be upgrading some stuff 
in the near future on it just to make some improvements and as I ride it more and more, just feeling it out. But overall, I'm extremely happy with this bike. I really don't have too many cons about this bike, honestly. I just recently took the bike for the first time on a Black Diamond trail, and I was really, really shocked at how well it handled the trail with only having 120 mil of travel. So that was really interesting. I, I could have swore it was going to bottom out at some parts. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you guys have a giant stance too, or any suggestions on upgrades you guys would recommend me making. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to turn on the notification bell up top so you can be notified when I come out with my next video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!